Hey guys, Big Tech here. Today I've got a nice uh, review here for you guys uh, of the iPod Nano 5th uh, generation. And I'm doing this review with my new camera. It's a nice uh, Nikon Coolpix S6800. So, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this. Uh, so first off, you'll notice that the key difference between this iPod and the and its predecessor the fourth generation one is that the screen is a bit larger and <laughs> that it has a, a small little camera there that you can see at the back and uh, this camera is not it's not really one that you would like to use for recording things like personally I don't see why they put this on this iPod and I do know that they why they didn't put another one on the newer iPod Nanos is because it didn't really have a great purpose on this iPod, okay? Because, yeah, you can record stuff and so on, but like you can just tell the size of the camera on here is not going to get you great quality video. The reason why I, I emphasize, emphasize video is because you cannot take pictures with this iPod, which is a pretty useless fe feature when you think about it, is that, oh, the iPod finally has a camera in it, but you can't take photos with the camera, but you can take videos. And not even good videos. Like, crappy 480p videos. I mean, like I said about the size of the sensor on the iPod, is that you can't expect great images to come out of this, or great quality to come out of this, so... Here, I'll just do a little demo recording for you guys. As you can see, even on the iPod, it cro uh, the camera's preview does not fill the screen because it's not uh, a widescreen video. It's 4x3 instead of 16x9. And the screen's format is 16x9, so yeah. This new camera's looking really nice, by the way. So It was having troubles in the beginning, but I don't know what that was attributed to. Anyways, to start recording, we will press this button right here, the center button. And, um... There, there we go, go. now it's started. started. I don't know why I had to do that twice. So here's just a little demo of it, short one, uh, just to show you guys, you know, just what you have here. You know, I love I love the color in the fifth generation of the iPhone, and I always said the colors that it came in, it came in multiple colors, and they were very vibrant, rather than just being matte like its previous, uh, like its predecessor, I guess you'd say. So there you go. Um... It has the same kind of scheme as the previous iPod. If you hear any squeaking or anything, that's just my pet dribbles. Um, I've added a sleep thing here, just so that you can just turn it off really easily. Um, yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, the re only reason why I have the radio thing here is that just because I was just testing it out, seeing what that's all about. Because I've never really used that feature in iPods before. Um, but you have to have a, a, a headset plugged in or headphones plugged in, uh, and they act as their antenna, otherwise it will not work. Um, yeah, like I said, it comes in many different colors, and here's just an overview of the actual hardware on it. This is actually the 16 gigabyte model as well. Here's the top where you have your hold switch, side where you have nothing, and the bottom where you have your 30 pin dock connector as well as a headphone jack. And, um, and then the control, how you control the device is it has a menu key, which also serves <coughs> serves as back, uh, track forward, track backwards, and the select key, which is the middle one, as well as play and pause. Um, the screen, I believe, is about 200 pixels per inch. I believe I, I read that somewhere, but... Yeah, and then, like I said, it performs just as the previous iPod, where you can listen to music, view photos, and view videos on it. Um, I wouldn't use it personally for viewing videos or photos on it because of its small screen. Um, it wouldn't be, I find, I think that it wouldn't be that enjoyable, as I have done this before when I used to have an iPod when I was a lot younger. And I always thought it was really ridiculous, but I just used my laptop then. Um, it also comes with a couple games. I don't remember which ones because I haven't used one of these in forever and I customized my menu. These click wheels can be difficult to control as you can see I'm having having issues with it. It also has um 
but the previous one didn't have it. it also has a pedometer that comes with it alright let's check out the games that it has I remember it has Vortex and iPod Quiz. iPod Quiz I always found to be enjoyable I went into video camera no I didn't I thought it froze <laughs> alright so you have Klondike um, which is a card game Maze and Vortex. Oh, it doesn't have iPod Quiz. I haven't. I don't know what Maze is. I'm guessing. It, oh, because this one has an uh, has an accelerometer because of the pedometer <laughs> feature. Anyways, um, but yeah, the battery life on it is also pretty good because it does not have uh, internet connectivity, so that doesn't drain the battery as you see in newer generation devices. Um, where the battery gets really gets low really fast because of the uh, internet communications and cellular communications and otherwise. Um, but due to this iPod's uh, small stature, it is very portable. Obviously, <laughs> obviously, it's extremely light. In fact, I'm not used to how light this is because I'm used to like, for example, a phone or an, or an iPod Touch or so on like that. Um, but yeah, this is good for listening to music. And that's about it. That's what it's good for. It's not good for video. It's not good for taking video, viewing video, really anything that requires uh, good visuals. But, personally, I just use this for listening to music. And that's pretty much what the intended purpose of it is for. Because the video on camera on it is not that great, and neither is the audio. Anyways, um... Oh, and it also has a voice memos feature because it because of the camera on it. See, I'll just let you take a look at that one more time. There you go. There's the camera really up close. Come on, camera. Focus. Man. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, so it's a really, really small sensor. And a small microphone, so you can't really expect great image quality out of these things so that's about it and i'll see you guys later bye hope you guys enjoy the video one important factor that i had forgotten to men mention uh... was the fact that this ipod has a built-in speaker so you can uh... listen to music look at this i'm scrolling and it's not doing anything look at that. anyways um, so yeah it, it does not it has a built-in speaker it's obviously not loud but it's there Obviously, I would not prefer a copyright strike, so I won't play the music for very long. But, yeah, there's a short demo of the speaker's capabilities. I believe it has the same speaker as the second generation iPod Touch. Um, I could be wrong, but I believe that is um, correct. So, yeah, and thanks for watching. Bye.